All right, welcome to this training mission. Please wait for everything to load correctly. This time, we will look at the radios in the F-15E Strike Eagle and how to use them properly. I assume by now you've read the relevant parts of the manual, so we won't be talking about the capabilities of the radios or their frequency ranges. Now, before we proceed, I also strongly suggest that you map the HOTUS mic forward and the HOTUS mic aft switches. These will be used to transmit and receive on the pry, left radio in the forward position, and the aux, right radio in the aft position. Let me know when you have that done. All right, first thing first, turning on the radios. The status of the radios is displayed next to push button five and six. You should currently see an off indication there. There are several ways to turn on the radios. By using the radio submenu push button 1, by inputting a preset channel, introducing a manual frequency, or, and this is really the easiest one, by simply pushing both channel select knobs. Do this now. With power applied to the radios, you can see asterisks before channel numbers next to the knobs you just pushed. Manual frequencies are now displayed above them, next to push buttons 5 and 6. You can use each radio either in the preset channel mode or the manual frequency mode. The asterisk indicates which mode is currently active. To switch between them, you have to use the Grec CM buttons on the UFC. Each press of the button moves the asterisk between manual and preset frequencies. Go ahead and press the left GREC button to switch to manual frequency on the left radio. Good! The asterisk has jumped and now the left radio, which we call PRY, is working in the manual frequency mode. Press the left GREC button again to return to the preset channel mode. Turning the channel selector knob is the easiest way to jump from one channel to another, especially if they're close as an example going from channel 1 to channel 3. Now use the left knob and switch to channel 5 on UHF to tune to the ATIS station. Acknowledge receipt of information uniform. King Faisal Air Base Good. Information you can increase uniform. and decrease time the volume zero, using three, the smaller five, five. volume knob. Wind Go ahead and completely one, five, silence the ATIS for the time being. Another handy way of switching between channels is entering the desired number on the scratch pad and then pressing the respective channel selector knob. Let's switch to channel 10 on aux so the right radio, press 1 on the UFC. Now press 0. And push the right channel knob. You should now hear distant radio comms for air-to-air -air refueling operations. Good. There will be moments during the missions when you will be called to switch to a frequency which was not pre-programmed on the ground and requires a manual input. Actually, it will happen quite often, knowing Baltic Dragon. All the time, really. To enter a manual frequency, simply type it on the UFC. The decimals are not required. And press push button 5 for the left radio, or 6 for the right one. Let's try with the simple 251 for the aux radio. Press 2 on the UFC, followed by 5, and then, you guessed it, 1. And now, press push button 6. To be able to transmit and receive on the manual frequency, we should first enable it by pushing the right GREC button. Do it now. Hey, it's WAGS. Anyway, let's continue with the lesson. For now, turn down the volume on the aux radio. Now, take a look at the bottom line on the UFC display you should see the previous frequency sitting right in the middle of that line. This is a very neat feature allowing you to quickly jump back to whatever channel or frequency you had before by simply pressing push button 6 again. Do that now. 
One more thing we should cover is the guard monitoring frequency. The military air distress frequency is 243.0 and the Strike Eagle is capable of monitoring it in the background irrespective of what channel or frequency it is currently using. In order to enable guard monitoring, you have to first press the shift button on the USC and then press the grec button for the radio you want to monitor guard on. Let's use the left one. Press shift and left grec. Letter G should now be shown behind the frequency in the fourth line on the UFC display. This means that the pry is now monitoring guard. Crank up the volume a little bit, please. Shift gun slide, acknowledge line line. Can you clarify the target? North, 315817, east, 31265. Target is open field west of the hamlet. Uh, still not clear on the target. Um, all I see is a field. Uh, there is nothing in the field. I need a bomb in the field. Whatever. To disable guard monitoring, follow exactly the same procedure. One last thing we should cover briefly is the dedicated radio menu. They are different for both radios, but for now, there is only one important thing you should learn, and that is for the aux. To enter the radio submenu, the scratch pad needs to be clean. Just to be on the safe side, press the clear button twice. Chances are that everything went black on the USC, so press the menu button once to bring it back. Now press push button 6 to enter the aux radio submenu. You can check what most of the options do, or don't do, in the manual. Frankly, most of them don't do anything important, but one important feature here is the ability to switch from the alpha mic frequency to the fox mic frequency. To do this, press the push button 9 where it says MAN AM. It should now say MAN-FM. We will now type in the frequency and remember that for aux in FM mode you need to use the decimals. Press 3. Now press 1. Decimal. 2. And press push button 6 to introduce the manual FM frequency. Good. Crank up the volume a little bit, please. That sounds good. Alright, that concludes this training lesson. Well done.